Hey guys, guess what? We are now nine days away until Super Mario Brothers Wonder where yes, we're still talking about this game all the way up until release because it is such an exciting time to be a Mario fan. A brand new 2D Mario game is coming in just nine days with Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And today we have gotten tons of previews from some of the bigger game outlets that's kind of played more levels and a lot more of the game and got to really get their hands and dig deep. And some of us, myself included, have been able to go into stores like Target and actually play the demo for ourselves. Now, we weren't able to play all the other levels that some of the bigger creators got to play sent in by Nintendo. <clears throat> hey, Nintendo. You know, you, you can't be up Nintendo. I'm right here. Uh, but at the same time, I got to get my hands on the game a little bit with the first couple of levels and really feel what this game has in store. So today, I'm going to kind of talk about the previews and what pretty much everybody is saying about this game so far. And I want to kind of give an idea of what to expect and, you know, what are people saying? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it mixed? Well, Let's talk about it. I also wanna thank you guys so much for your recent support. You guys have been showing so much love by so many subscribers. I mean, literally just on the last video, we got 400, 400 brand new subscribers from you guys. You guys are phenomenal. So if you guys are excited about Mario Wonder and wanna stay up to date, all you gotta do is leave a like and subscribe. Let's see how many we can get to do it on this video. So thank you so much for tuning in. Let's dive in. So let's break this down a little bit and just talk about the game in different parts from what I've heard from people that preview the game and also add some of my opinions as well when I can. So straight up, we have the movement and the controls. And I can tell you from my own experience, it is the best feeling Mario game. Do you remember when we played Mario Odyssey and how smooth it felt to control Mario? Everything was tight, precise, and it felt perfect to move Mario around in that world. This is that 2D Mario experience that we were looking for to match the 3D one from Odyssey. Now, the new Super Mario Brothers games do have a little bit more lightweight to them. Uh, these are tighter. These are completely tighter with Mario Wonder. Um, it feels like every little thing you do, every action that you press on the controller is perfectly implemented without any lag, without any slipperiness. It is perfect. I mean, this is how you should be able to control a 2D Mario game. There are absolutely no complaints there, and I haven't heard of any complaints from any other creators either. So it looks like Nintendo really nailed this one. Now, let's talk about the world. The the world is now in the Flower Kingdom, and it looks very, very different. Now, the creators have also said that, you know, this game just feels like all the worlds are like in a dreamland. They feel so different than that of the Mushroom Kingdom. They're themes that we're used to, but switched and changed in weird ways. And I mean, just from looking at ourselves from the different trailers and stuff, these worlds and levels look absolutely amazing. I mean, seriously, I still really love that Bowser's Castle themed area where the sky is like this yellow golden fog and you have these golden pipes and weird goo at the bottom. It's such a beautiful location and we got a couple other ones that were leaked on the Japanese website not really leaked but we're on the website you can see like an airship themed stage with the sky is this fiery red oh it looks so good and like a Bowser's Castle themed area you can see this desert with a purple kind of sky sunset background which is just beautiful at nighttime and also this really beautiful kind of purple and blue sky for the snow area the colors pop it looks amazing in every area I mean seriously honestly and truthfully I couldn't think of better themes for a game like this and that's why it really makes me want to see a Mario Maker 3 with these themes implemented because they're beautiful. Now I did see a couple of mixed opinions on the items and I was able to play as obviously Elephant Mario and Drill Mario within that demo but uh, we get more information from the people that played further in the game already um, and we can learn about what they had to say. So pretty much a lot of people see Elephant Mario as just a big tank and they find them to be a lot of fun. I'm a little less excited for Elephant Mario after playing with him. Let me tell you why. So yeah, it just feels like a big Mario. Like it doesn't really feel elephant. I, I don't know. Yes, you can squirt water with your trunk, but it doesn't really do much besides some, you know, some effects on the flowers on the ground. And you can, you know, you can water some enemies in order to wake them up. It doesn't even hurt them. It just kind of wakes them up if they're sleeping and makes them react. Uh, so yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do with elephant Mario, believe it or not, besides just using your trunk and then like pushing heavy things. So yeah, I get it's it's a pretty basic item. You know, it's one of the first ones you get in the game. Uh, but yeah, I didn't see it to be anything super crazy I still love it and I love the way it looks and I love the fact that it changes the music to like a different theme yeah the elephant Mario power-up actually changes the music for every stage 
based on that power up. It kind of gives it more of a tuba kind of effect to making it feel like an elephant theme. I can't explain it, but you can probably guess what I'm talking about. I thought drill was really cool. I had to get used to the way it worked because it's so simple. It's just pressing down and then pressing up for the ceiling. It's really, really good. And I love breaking through blocks and stuff and using it to hit enemies above me. But I seen one person complain about the fact that it's only able to be used in specific terrain which is a little bit of a bummer. I thought like all pieces of ground would be able to allow you to go underneath, but that's not the case. I guess there's a lot of different terrains in the game that doesn't let you do this. So obviously it's gonna be pretty much a level specific thing. Uh, if that level really wants you to use a drill, it will give you the drill. You taking a drill into a level that's not needed for it, it's not really going to do a whole lot. Fire Flower was also able to be played in the demo. It's very, very, you know, simple based on what the Fire Flower has always done. There's a cool new animation for it, obviously. Um, but now you can throw fireballs with two hands. It'll go like boom, boom with both hands this time instead of just, you know, the animation of shooting it out of the same hand like Mario normally does. Um, I don't know. I really liked the animation. It felt cooler, even though it's pretty much exactly the same. At first, I wasn't super excited for the Bubble Flower, but after watching some extended gameplay, I absolutely think this thing is so neat. So not only can you trap enemies in Bubble, and bounce off of them yourselves but you can blow them through the terrain in order to hit certain switches and you know trigger certain things to happen in the world which is super cool it can go through walls that's amazing i love this thing already i think it could be implemented in some really cool ways for collectibles yeah i'm very excited as far as the levels themselves i have heard lots of mixed things about the difficulty a lot of people like nintendo themselves actually came out in an interview and said the difficulty was pretty hard and they couldn't even finish some of their own levels that they've created um but then i've heard a a lot of other people say, well, at least so far, the things that they've played, it's not that difficult at all. There's some a little challenge with certain levels, but so far, not that difficult. Now, remember, no one has played the full game and is able to talk about the full game yet. So maybe some of the real difficulty comes at the end or maybe some post-game stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean... At the end of the day, it's not going to be anything compared to some of the levels we've seen in Mario Maker 2 that people have created. Uh, but yeah, there's some difficulty, it looks like. It's not going to be a walk in the park, but it's also not going to be extremely difficult like we thought it would. However, it looks like the difficulty is going to come from the collectibles because you have three 10 purple coins to collect in each level and around two to three wonder seeds, I believe, in every level as well. And on top of that, you have to get the top of the flagpole in order to complete that of every level as well. So very reminiscent of Mario 3D world if you guys remember reports are saying some levels will have you replay them twice in order to collect everything as there's branching paths and different things that can happen depending on where you go and i've experienced that already with the demo with the bull rush level you could ride the bull rush during the wonder flower event to go over the flag into a secret flag and get a wonder seed or you can go back into the level and not get the wonder flower at all and you'll find a different wonder seed somewhere else elsewhere in the level which causes you to have to replay the level which i absolutely love and that forces replayability that forces you to go back to past levels that you already completed and revisit them and i think that's nothing but an amazing w something else is we know there's going to be a lot of stages in this game not really sure how many as of right now i think someone was able to count over 100 i think game explain made a whole video on that but if there really is over 100 levels that's insane because apparently there's no two wonder events that are the same Every single level does something different, and they all have different wonder events, which means we're going to be seeing different wacky things in every single level we enter, no repeats, which is super exciting. That's a lot of brand new content to look forward to. So that means every single wonder event that we've seen so far is original to that specific level and that specific level only. Of course, we know all the characters that are in this game. I still have my own opinion on the fact that only Yoshi and Nabbit are the easy mode characters because for people that want to play easy mode but want to also use the other characters they can't they're stuck with Yoshi and Nabbit and for people that want to play with Yoshi and Nabbit but want to play in the regular mode they have to play easy mode if they want to play with those characters so to me it's still a little wonky I wish you could just turn easy mode on and off for any character in the game but at the same time at least you have a large roster of characters and I've seen some people get a little upset how the characters don't have special abilities like they would in 3D World with Peach's Glide, Toad's Speed, and Luigi's High Jump. I personally do not care all that much. It actually now warrants why I would actually enjoy playing with the other characters because they all play the same. I'm very basic. Um, I kind of like that and it gives me a reason to play with other characters. I normally play with Mario because he's all around and you know he's a basic character that's easy to control and he works right. 
now so does the rest of the cast so yeah uh so i don't know if there's going to be an additional character like maybe like a rosalina cameo a pauline or something at the end uh but definitely a really good cast and don't even get me started on the enemies there are so many beautiful enemies in this game from old to new alike and new ways to take them out Oh my goodness, I love them so much. There's so many goofy looking ones and it's just so much variety in this game with the character design and everything. It is, it's, it is nearly perfect. And as of right now, the only thing that we really don't know about is the boss battles. Right now, no one has been able to play any boss battles, even the people that were sent in, like there's no information on them, nothing at all. I mean, we don't even know about the Bowser Jr. one that much besides a couple of clips and a couple of screenshots. Um, and I actually received some more screenshots. These come from Aaron that actually emailed me some of these screenshots. I don't know where they got them from, but there are more fights with Bowser Jr. That same exact boss fight again where Bowser Jr. gets big and you get small and vice versa. It looks like when you get big, Bowser Jr. gets very small, but he turns into his shell, which means you have to dodge him and being very big, trying to dodge that little shell moving back and forth can be a little more difficult than normal. And then he gets very big and you get very small and you have to make a way up in order to hit him on the head, which seems to be a pretty cool mechanic. Lastly, we got some new shorts that Nintendo made for YouTube and I guess TikTok as well, where Mario turns into an elephant after running. And then we also have one where Bowser has somewhat of a fetish for Elephant Peach. Just take a look at these. So yeah, there's a lot to be excited for with Super Mario Brothers Wonder. All the previews are looking really, really good as if this is no doubt the best 2D Mario game we've ever gotten and one of the best Mario games that we're going to ever get as well. But let me know in the comments down below what particularly are you looking forward to the most. Personally, I just, I need to see some type of boss battle. One boss battle outside of the same Bowser Jr. fight. Please, just gotta be something else. I know they're hiding it for a reason, uh, but for the most part, this game is phenomenal. It plays so well and we'll be able to get our hands on the full game in just nine days. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out. And like always, I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys.